What's wrong with eating dairy products like milk, cheese, yogurt, and kefir from an animal cruelty perspective? I mean, they don't kill the animal to get its milk. You have to kill the animals to get milk. And people don't realize this. They're always killed. Uh, basically, what happens on any dairy, organic or not, a female is impregnated against her will, and after nine months, she gives birth to a baby. Uh, she thinks that baby is her baby, but no, it's not her baby. I own you, I own your baby, I'm going to steal your baby and kill your baby, and then I'm going to impregnate you again on the rape rack. So these animals are giving milk while they're pregnant. No mammal is designed for that. That's extremely abusive. So they're pregnant and lactating simultaneously, which breaks down the health of these uh, cows very quickly. So even though they would normally live to be about 25 years old naturally in the wild, by the time they're five years old, on any dairy, organic or not, they are killed. So by that point, they will have given birth to four calves. All of these calves will be killed, either imme usually immediately. Sometimes they'll be killed after a few months for veal. Sometimes they'll occasionally be allowed to live about a year and a half for beef. And one of them, one of the four, will be allowed to live to be a slave on the dairy to replace her mother, who will be killed. A standard procedure on dairies when uh, for the fifth one uh, to impregnate her a fifth time and then right before she gives birth when she's about eight months pregnant then she'll be sent to the slaughterhouse and then at the slaughterhouse they'll, they'll kill her and then they'll open up uh, her womb and there'll be a calf inside who's alive and then they will uh, before they kill the calf uh, inside they will put a long needle into the uh, spine of the uh, calf and pull out liquids uh, and also into the heart and pull out liquids and these are, are um, bovine uh, fetal serum uh, which is used in vaccines and other pharmaceutical uh, drugs uh, and then they also take out the renin uh, in the ca unborn calves for use in making cheese. So it's a, a very brutal abortion that where you kill the mother and then extract some certain profit-making substances from the calves, and then you kill the calves bef uh, and, uh, after they are taken out of the body. So the dairy industry is probably the most cruelty. There's more cruelty probably, I would say, in cheese, for example, than in any kind of flesh because these animals are hyper-confined. Their babies are stolen. They're brutally treated. I mean, if you just, I, I would just suggest, if anyone questions me about this, uh, there are uh, online videos, the, uh, quite a few of them. Even when undercover investigators go to any animal operation, they always find gratuitous, hideous violence towards the animals, especially dairies, even small family-owned small dairies. Uh, their uh, undercover footage because these cows are powerful. They're 2,000 pounds. So the workers who are there working with these cows, the cows move in ways they don't like, and after a while they get, unfortunately, they get more and more violent. And so, uh, for example, you just Google Conklin, C-O-N-K-L-I-N, Conklin Dairy video. This is a small far family dairy in Ohio where some investigators, just workers, had undercover cameras, and you see the, the dairy cows being stabbed over and over again with pitchforks, where the little calves who are uh, taken from their mothers are just punched and beaten repeatedly, thrown, killed, stomped on, kicked. Uh, the cows are kicked brutally. They're, co they're continually abused uh, because they, when, when nobody's present, the thing is with animal agriculture, the, the animals don't do what they are supposed to do, and the workers get more and more sadistic, unfortunately. That always happens. There's never been a case where undercover people went in and did not find terrible cruelty on any animal agriculture operation, whether it's a big factory farm or what's even worse are the small ones. The small backyard operations are, are worse because the, the, the um, workers get more sadistic, typically. So. Uh, we should never think that uh, by eating something that's organic or uh, small scale that there's less cruelty. In fact, there's usually more cruelty. For example, uh, organic dairy. People think I'll eat organic dairy because there's less cruelty, right? <laughs> the animals are out free. We have this idea they're free walking around you know, in, in, the, uh, in the fields. That's not true. I mean, there's no requirement that they be outside in the field to be organic. They can be sitting on, on cement 
inside all day. And if, as long as the feed they get is organic, then that's considered organic. But they're not allowed to use any antibiotics or medicines for these, these cows. So cows are always getting, for example, mastitis. Mastitis is, is rampant in, in organic and non-organic operations. Uh, because the animals are confined. And so mastitis is the inflammation of the udder. And when their udders get inflamed, then uh, the bacteria in the udder clogs up the, the teats. And so the milk can't get out. And so it's very painful for the cows. And it's bad for the farmers because they they're not making any money. They can't get the milk out, right? So on a typical dairy, a commercial dairy, they'll just give a lot of antibiotics to kill the bacteria that are causing the mastitis. But on organic dairy, they can't use antibiotics. So they have a, a metal, like a corkscrew, and they just screw it up her teat, and they rip it down, which is excruciatingly painful, obviously, to the cow. But it gets the milk flowing again f for a while so, she, so they can make some money. And I've talked to veterinarians about this, and they've told me you know, over and over again that organic dairy cows suffer much more even because they can't do anything to relieve the problems that they have with their skin and many other things by being confined on dairies. They suffer much more. So we should never think that there's any way to have dairy products without suffering, without killing them. There was even, for example, the Hare Krishnas. You know, they, they want to have dairy that's with, with no cruelty. So they started a dairy in West Virginia uh, and it was called the Ahimsa Dairy. Ahimsa means nonviolent. So they said, we're going to have a dairy where we just love the cows and the milk is, is there's, no, there's no violence in the milk. So they, they did. They tried that. And so they had a bunch of cows. And the problem is, of course, you have to impregnate the cow. She's not going to give any milk <laughs> unless you impregnate her. And then after she gives birth to the baby, then you have to steal the milk because the calf wants the milk. But you say, no, 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 you go. And so they feed the calf soy milk, actually, typically. And, uh, and then they get the milk. And so they can sell the milk. So they were selling the milk to other Hare Krishna devotees as a himsa milk for a certain price, whatever, three or four dollars a gallon. But a as the years went by, there were more and more cows because you know, half the cows that are born are males, and you can't milk males, but they didn't want to kill them. So they just let them, uh, but what they tried to do was castrate them and use them as oxen. So they did that for a few, but pretty soon they didn't need any more oxen, so they just had to feed them. And then after a while, they had more females that were too old to give milk. And then they had females that were not old enough yet to give milk. And so at a certain point, they had maybe, you know, say, for example, like 120 cows. And out of 120 cows, they only had 30 that were actually given milk. The rest were males, or they were too old, or they were too young. And so the price of the milk went from 3 to 5 to 7 to 10 to 15 to 20 to 30 to $50 a gallon because they had to feed all these cows, and they had needed more land. I mean, dairy is impossible. You cannot have dairy products without killing huge amounts of cows. You have to kill, you know, 90% of the babies, seven, at least 75% of the babies have to be killed. And, uh, or 80% of the babies have to be killed. And so it's, it's completely unworkable. You have to kill. There's no such thing as dairy without killing.